Welcome dear students. In this video lecture, we are going to solve the numerical ask in the GTU question paper of 2021 of Applied Thermodynamics. Students, from this chapter of IC engine performance, one numerical will definitely be there in your question paper. And this kind of numerical is very simple numerical. So let's start with the given data. Following data are collected from four stroke single cylinder oil engine at full load. The bore is 200 mm, stroke is 280 mm, speed is 300 rpm, indicated mean effective pressure is 5.6 bar, torque on the brake drum is 250 Nm, meter. oil consumed is 4.2 kg per hour, the calorific values of oil is 41,000 kJ per kg, determine the mechanical efficiency, indicated thermal efficiency and brake thermal efficiency. So student, first of all, we just write down the given data. So first of all, the bore is given, so which is a diameter of the cylinder that is a 200 millimeter. We need to convert into the meter by multiplying 10 to the power 3. Similarly, stroke length is given that is a 280. So which is also 280 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter. Then speed means number of RPM is given that is a 300 RPM. Then the mean effective pressures that is a PM is given that is a 5.6 bar which we need to convert into the Newton per meter square. So 5.6 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per meter square. Then torque is given that is 250 newton meter so no need to convert this unit the mass of fuel consumption is given that is 4.2 kg per hour so which becomes a 4.2 divided by 3600 kg per seconds and last calorific value is given which is 41000 kilojoule per kg so students first of all we calculated the indicated power so the formula is mean effective pressure into the stroke length area then rpm divided by 60000 into the k and the x where k is the number of cylinders and x is if your engine is a four stroke then you need to multiply it with the one by two and if it is two stroke then x is equals to one so we just put down the value mean effective pressure is 5.6 into 10 to the power 5 the length is 280 into 10 to the power minus 3 area is pi by 4 into d square so d is 200 into 10 to the power minus 3 whole to the power 2 into rpm is 300 the number of cylinder is 1 and x is a four stroke so 1 by 2 is that divided by 60000 by calculation we get the indicated power is 12.308 kilowatt now we are going to calculate the brake power so brake power is calculated using formula 2 pi and t by 60,000 which is also comes in the same unit of kilowatt. So 2 pi is constant and is 300 rpm and torque is 250 given over here which is divided by 60,000. So we get the brake power that is 7.85 kilowatt. Now students we are calculating the indicated thermal efficiency which is equals to IP upon MF into CV. So IP that is we calculated using the formula and IP we got 12.308 and the fuel consumption is 4.2 divided by 3600 and the calorific value is 41,000. So indicated thermal efficiency we get is 25.73 percentage. Similarly for brake thermal efficiency BTE is equals to the brake power divided by MF into CV 
so brake power is 7.85 fuel consumption is 4.2 divided by 3600 into 41000 brake thermal efficiency we get that is 16.4 percentage now for the mechanical efficiency we know that it is a brake power upon indicated power so brake power is 7.85 and indicated power is 12.308 so mechanical efficiency we get 63.81 percentage so in this way we get the mechanical efficiency indicated thermal efficiency brake thermal efficiency which is asked in the numerical so it is very simple numerical you can be solved within the few minutes using the sum of the formula thank you students thank you for watching this video thank you